ஸ்ரீ குருபியோ நமக ஐம் ஹாப்பி டு வெல்கம் யூ ஆல் ஃபார் அவர் ஆன்லைன் டீச்சிங் அகாடமி ஏ கலைவா ஃபார் த கிளாஸ் நைன் சப்ஜெக்ட் பயாலஜி யூனிட் டூ கிங்டம் அனிமாலியா டுடே வி ஆர் கோயிங் டு டிஸ்கஸ் அபவுட் தி கண்டினியூஷன் ஆஃப் தி எஸ்டேஸ் கிளாஸ் the next one is pilum arthropoda in the yesterday's class we discuss about pilum porifera cilentrata palti helminthes ashi helminthes and annelida so five pilum we already completed the sixth one is pilum arthropoda the word arthropoda means animals with jointed legs so animals having jointed legs comes under pilum arthropoda this is the sixth pilum so there are about uh, nine pilums in animal kingdom among the nine pilum the first eight pilum are invertebrates the last one is vertebrate that has notochord chordata okay so the sixth one is pilum arthropoda the arthropoda means animals having the jointed legs Arthropoda is the largest pilum of the animal kingdom. So we have nine pilum as I said. Pilum porifera, cilentrata, palti helminthes, hashi helminthes, annelida, arthropoda, mollusca, echinodermata, hemichordata and chordata. Among the pilum, uh, the arthropoda is the largest pilum among the animal kingdom. Okay. So they are um, bilaterally symmetrical. yesterday i already uh, i discussed what is bilaterally symmetrical if we cut the body parts through the central axis so we can get only two by means two two equal two identical halves so that is called bilaterally symmetrical they are bilaterally symmetrical triploblastic triploblastic is nothing but the body is covered with three layers ectoderm endoderm and mesoderm so it is uh, made up of uh, triploblastic and coelomate animals the body is divided into head thorax and abdomen so head part thorax and abdomen each segment bears pair jointed legs so i said already arthropoda means jointed legs exoskeleton is made up of chitin chitin c h i t i n you have to pronounce it as chitin chitin is nothing but a polysaccharide so exoskeleton is made up of chitin and shed periodically as the animal grows if the animal grows automatically the exoskeleton shed down the casting off and regrowing of exoskeleton is called molting so two more question what is molting the casting off and the regrowing of exoskeleton is called molting the body cavity is filled with hemolymph hemolymph is nothing but blood the blood does not flow in blood vessels in this animals the pilum um, arthropoda the animals having uh, blood vessels uh, do not have a blood vessels they do not flow in the blood vessels the blood do not flow in the blood vessels and it circulates throughout the body so it is said to be open circulatory system respiration takes place through the body surface so respiration uh, through body surface gills or trachea excretion occurs by malpighian tubules or green glands sexes are separate so male animal is different and female animal is different examples of arthropoda prawn crab cockroach millipede centipede spider and scorpion so see the picture here the picture is belongs to millipede and another one is centipedes clear then seventh pilum is pilum mollusca the word mollusca is nothing but soft body the body is very soft in nature soft body animal 
they are diversified diversified group of animals they live in marine they are in marine organism most of the animals of mollusca most of the animals under mollusca are in marine they live only in the ocean sea so they are marine freshwater and terrestrial habitats the body is bilaterally symmetrical bilaterally symmetrical is nothing but if we cut the body parts through the central axis we can get only two equal halves that is called bilaterally symmetrical the body is bilaterally symmetrical soft mollusca means soft bilaterally symmetrical soft and without segmentation there is no segment at all it is divided into head muscular foot and visceral mass the foot helps in locomotion locomotion means movement with the help of the foot the animals move from one place to another the entire body the whole body is covered with fold of thin skin called mantle so the whole body is covered by a thin sheet called mantle which secrete outer hard calcareous shell on the top of the body on the top of the body they have a shell like structure calcareous shell respiration is through gills or lungs or both sexes are separate that means male animal and female animal okay with the larval stage during development example for this is garden snail and octopus see here that this is a garden snail the outside hard shell they it is separate from the body this is a body soft body hard shell okay then pilum echinodermata echinodermata means spiny skinned animals spiny skinned the skin is uh, having small spine they are exclusively free living marine animals they are triploblastic triploblastic is nothing but the body is covered with three germ layer ectoderm endoderm and mesoderm so these are triploblastic true coelomate with organ system grade of organization adult animals are radially symmetrical please listen radially symmetrical means if we cut the body parts through the central axis in any direction we can get identical many identical parts that is called radially symmetrical so adult animals are radially symmetrical while the larva remains bilaterally symmetrical very very important so adult is radially symmetrical while the young stage larval stage the animal is bilaterally symmetrical a unique feature is the presence of fluid filled water vascular system so this is one of the unique feature fluid filled vascular fluid filled water vascular system is present okay locomotion is affected by tubed feet the body wall is covered with spiny hard calcareous ossicles this is a small um, spiny hard calcareous ossicles example for this is starfish sea urchin see here this is a starfish this is sea urchin having spiny hard calcareous ossicles and the next one is pilum hemichordata hemi meaning is partially partially having chordates okay hemichordata or hemichordates are marine organism they live only in the aquatic that means ocean seas etc so the hemichordates are marine organism with soft vermiform and unsegmented body 
they are bilaterally symmetrical see here bilaterally symmetrical if we cut the body parts through the central axis we can get only two equal halves that is bilaterally symmetrical seomate animals with non chordate non chordate there is no backbone at all so non chordate and chordate features they have gill slits but do not have notochord they are ciliary feeders and mostly remain as a tuberculous forms example for a pilum hemichordata is belenoglos belenoglos see the structure here belenoglosus this is the example for pilum hemichordata the next last one is chordata chordates are characterized by the presence of notochord dorsal nerve and paired gill pouches again i am telling uh, chordates are characterized by the presence of notochord dorsal nerve cord and paired gill pouches notochord is a long rod like support along the backbone of the animal so every vertebrate animals uh, if the animal is vertebrates means they have backbone if animals having backbone means they are said to be vertebrates so notochord is a nothing but a long rod like structure it present along with the uh, backbone okay so notochord is a long rod like support along the backbone of the animal separating the gut and the nervous tissue so notochord only separates the animals from the gut and the nervous tissue all chordates are triploblastic triploblastic means it is made up of three layers outer layer middle layer and inner layer ectoderm mesoderm and endoderm okay so all chordates are triploblastic and coelomate animals pilum chordata is divided into two groups one is called prochordata and the one is called vertebrata again i am telling pilum chordata is divided into two groups one is called prochordata and second one is called vertebrata clear children see the structure of notochord see this is notochord structure of chordata this is a notochord it is present along with the backbone having no cord dorsal halo no cord pharyngeal pouches chordate animals okay thank you children we will see tomorrow